Hey, this is Stephanie. And I'm Nina. And, and you're, you're listening to Live by the Spirit Podcast. Hello. Hi. This is weird. I'm embarrassed. I'm kind of embarrassed about this how too. long. <laughs> It's been a month. This is and like this isn't even gonna be that long of an episode. It I'm, won't. No, I'm so sorry. Um, it's quite literally been a month since we've last it's recorded. It's been over a month. I oh, oh no, this always happens. Well, um, that's fine. It's fine. Is it still recording? Oh, perfect. Yeah, we just had good, a we good. just had a slight malfunction. There was a little notification on my computer. <laughs> um, I don't. Okay, so part of it was we we're addressing why we've been gone. For yes, so long. thank you. Um, it's currently 10 30 at night. It is pa- true. Part of it was, okay. We like, I remember after we'd f- recorded the last one, it was like, we didn't really know exactly what to record yet, or we mm-hmm. had ideas, but it just, we wanted more time to like marinate on them. And then we got into a season where I started packing for our move. And then Nina was finishing up her teaching year, so school year, school year, and then Nina and then was, was out of town, and then Nina was sick. Nina was sick. Stephanie was moving. It's like, Nina was sick again. Yeah. Um, it's just been a crazy, it's been a few crazy weeks, month, five weeks. I feel weeks. like May went by in the blink of an eye. May went by so it went quickly, by so fast. But good news is, is we do have our apartment. Yes. So it snaps. We're, we're not recording. We're not in recording in there. Um, we are at Nina's current. Yeah. Apartment. And I am not moving until the um, the end of June. Um, so Steph moved in like a week and a half yeah. ago. Um, the and place s- to myself. Yeah. <sighs> and then we're I'm going to be moving in. Officially, I want to be moved in by July 1st is my goal. Mm-hmm. Um, but... That's kind of where we've been. Sorry, I'm not going to project my voice a lot today because I will start coughing. She's I'm still, still Ill. sick. Um, I'm feeling like 85%. Um, but yeah, it's been a crazy, crazy month. Yeah, I think this month was, it went by in the blink of an eye. But I think there's also like a lot of challenges in there for yeah. both of us. Whether that was just feeling really drained um, or just like exhausted i mean Mm -hmm. we even had a conversation um we've had conversations together i've had conversations with other people and i know a lot of people kind of agree it's felt like a very quiet season like god is very much very very quiet um and it's interesting because like i've definitely gone through seasons where god's been super quiet in my life but other like i can see him really not saying that he's not moving because he's moving in areas we can't see but like i can really see my friends being on fire for God and just seeing God like really moving through them in like those moments. But this is really one of the first times in my life where it feels like almost everyone around me, it's been very still. And so that's making me kind of excited to see what exactly God's doing in all of us and what, what we're being prepared for. Mm -hmm. And we've had this conversation several times, but like I, with this move, I have felt myself literally walking into a new season. This is the year of the open door. And I really do feel like I just am like in the process of walking through a new door. And I'm sure like, and I feel like Mm -hmm. a lot of people have been saying that. And so I don't, it's one of those things where it's like, Lord, I don't know where the heck you're taking me, but you're taking me somewhere and we're going to find joy in it through the chaos. Yeah. So, yeah. Yeah. So it's been, it's been really interesting Um, I was out of town, which was awesome. I was able to go home for a bachelorette party and I got to spend time with my parents. And then I came back, was sick, went back to teaching summer school. And then I've been down and out since Thursday. And today is Saturday when we're recording. So it's been, it's been definitely interesting. I think same thing that you were saying, we've talked with a lot of people and people within our sphere and with us, like, It's just been very, a very quiet season. And one thing that somebody had said to me is, you know, the quiet season is really important. Mm -hmm. And while we might view it as maybe annoying at the time or, oh, this season isn't as meaningful, but it it really is. And that's really where we're prepping to see what God is going to do once the season is over. And I think it's been interesting that leading up to us moving in together, it's been like that season. Yeah, no, it's been, it's been 
really interesting and like I had like an emotional breakdown on Wednesday. I know Nina's had an emotional breakdown I had this week. An emotional week. breakdown on Tuesday. Yeah, and Tuesday. And um, you know, mine happened while we were at a Wednesday night service, so I was really fortunate to have people around me to pray over me. But it almost like, and I know the enemy works like this, but it was like I know other people have problems, and so I didn't want to speak out on the things I was struggling with because I was like, oh one of our friends got baptized that night and that was really cool but she of course was the one that was like what's wrong and I'm like no you just got baptized like I don't need to burden you with my issues and she's like what is wrong and I'm like well you see (laughs) and just like breaking down and stuff but I really do feel like the Lord's like knocking down some walls right now and I completely agree I think it's this is a season where well it's like also if you think about it like this is going to be a really probably not great analogy but this is the one that came comes into my head um when like a tornado is coming you know the tornado is close when it becomes really still and quiet not saying that god's like gonna come and destroy everything no yeah no but it's like something big is about to happen and i just feel like that was what god just explained to me is like okay it's very quiet right now which means something big is about to happen where i think this this move is something big and i think there's gonna be a lot of things that we're gonna learn um in the process of that and you know also just things that Nina and I've been praying over mm-hmm. each other and like we're, what we're hoping for this next year and what we're really putting out there and speaking positively over and changing our tongue and stuff and you know this past week was also a little hard for me because Monday was the 10 year anniversary of my mom passing and it like that really had me sitting there for a second on Monday and being like wow like I, obviously it's sad but like I've spent like the last decade which is crazy to say like learning how to live without my mom that it'd be almost weird for her to be alive yeah in, in this with me and not saying I wouldn't want that but like I just remember t- telling my dad is like I remember saying is it like guilty that I almost can't picture that like is that bad and he's like he's like no it's not because she you know she's healed and everything but like even finding joy during that hard thing like I know you didn't have a great day either necessarily Monday but then we went to a Nile Horn concert and we had a ball we had a blast we had a ball he was great yeah I think definitely something that I've been learning is you know even in a season where we feel like maybe God isn't speaking to us as clearly or maybe we don't hear him it's like that is the time when we need to be fully reliant on him Mm -hmm. even though we might not hear him even though we feel like maybe he's distant from us one he's not but also we have his word we have prayer we have things right here at our fingertips that we're able to continue to rely on and trust in and that's been something that I've been trying to do this last mm-hmm. you know couple of weeks is like even though it may feel quiet right now even though it might feel like nothing's happening one we always know that God is doing something whether we see it or not we know he's working but like you were saying you know something big is going to come and we know that because God continues to do miracles in our lives so it's like praying for what that's going to be being expectant that he's going to move in really big ways but also holding fast to him right now yeah and I think also like not saying that like quiet time feels like a chore but like something that I've done all year and I'm very proud of myself is I have not gone like I've not fallen asleep without being in the word once Mm -hmm. whether that's being intentional and spending hours in the word a day or like okay I'm going to read the verse the verse of today from the bible app in my actual physical bible and then do a quick prayer Mm -hmm. and like it's sad that that has been more days but like at least I was in the word once but like even it's like even been when I've been in the word for a while it's like yes I'm pulling things out of it but it's like it hasn't been like necessarily on fire as it was you know this time last year and just like even just hearing God saying you know not I hate saying like the honeymoon phase is over but almost kind of like that because that's going to happen in any friendship it's like or like any relationship is that you know it's not always going to be like like this big full like like flame fire like bonfire but like the fire will always still be there it's just Mm -hmm. not going to be as big but it's important that you keep still tending to the fire because th- you have to put work in to keep up if you've ever done a bonfire it, it takes a lot of work to keep a fire going because yeah. it will eventually die but if you really tend to it and mend to it it will 
you know, stay fire as long as you'd like it to be. And I feel like that's just really what the Lord's been at is like your fire for me. I hate saying that, but like it hasn't been as big or like Mm -hmm. things, but you're still tending to the fire every day. And, you know, I I still want to be that person that like brings everything back to Jesus. And so it's like every conversation I have, I like, I have to think to myself, okay, how can I bring this back to him? And I hate saying that it's felt more like work, but it has. And that's Mm -hmm. any relationship, though. That's okay, though, because if it was easy, it wouldn't be. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, it, it's not always going to be easy. It's not always going to be something that, you know, just comes so naturally to us. We have to work at it. You have to work at any relationship. And if we're not putting effort in or it feels so effortless, it's like, what are we learning? We also need to learn that we need to do this even when we don't want to, even when it's hard, even when we don't Mm -hmm. feel like it. Yeah. I just realized you had a squishmallow. I have several, but the other ones are back there. I've never seen one in person. You can (laughs) squish it if you want. It's a giraffe. I'm, I'm content, but thank you. Mm -hmm. (laughs) Um, but yeah, so we didn't want to make this episode too long Mm -hmm. for one. It's late. Um, we, I came here with the purpose for us to record and then we ended up just having some great quality time Mm -hmm. together with, Nina's brother Jonah who's a dear friend of mine Mm -hmm. and then our friend Jude came over and yeah I just felt like it was much needed time for all of us to spend together Mm -hmm. um but at the same time it was like we've both felt so embarrassed that we haven't been recording but then we also you know I feel like we have to remind yourself that it's like we choose to do this we get to do this this is something that we like we feel called to do and that we have fun doing and I feel like sometimes like with our even like we've been talking about with our relationship with god some weeks it feels like a chore and it's like oh we Mm -hmm. gotta record and stuff and so like we're we're ourselves trying to get this fire going again i think a big thing that's gonna help like we said in the episode before was the last one that came out is that i feel like with the move (laughs) sorry i shed a lot no you're good i Um, think that was my hair oh (laughs) um i think with this move i'm really excited to see exactly what's gonna foster things because Nina and I will be driving in the car and getting into these deep conversations. Yeah. And I just love that we'll be able to be like in our apartment having these conversations, be like, okay, let's just go grab our mics and record this really fast. Yeah. Rather than like us having a conversation at church and then going out to lunch and then maybe forgetting it a little bit later on. Like yeah. being able to have those conversations when we're at home and then just being able to pick it up and record. Yeah. And I also feel like just scheduling wise, like, us being home at the same time rather than like needing to go to each other's place or whatever it's going to be a lot easier yeah just like when I get home from work or you know when you're done with the work or something like that I think that it'll be a lot easier once that time comes around yeah but I think also like we really want to get Jones on yes we're gonna get Jones on soon he has a mic that is true we just got to get another whatever this is called an interface we gotta get an interface I'm not a musician Uh, I do a really good job at social media and f- taking photos yeah <laughs> <laughs> yeah we definitely want to have him on um and we so gotta we'll find like the right topic for jones i told him he can pick a topic yay so we'll have him on you'll be able to hear from him um yeah and yeah that's about it yeah we're both exhausted but yes we're retired really again we're embarrassed we haven't been recording but i promise you this isn't an ab- this is a priority for us. I think mm-hmm. May was just one of those months of people were graduating, things were happening, going out of town and things. And mm-hmm. not saying that the summer isn't going to be like that. I just feel like now we have a little bit more time to breathe. Yeah. Like, like, I feel like at least getting the apartment, having mm-hmm. me fully move was a good thing. Like Nina's going to sl- now Nina has the like option of slowly moving mm-hmm. in. So that's going to be less stress on her. There, and then like, you know, yeah, I everything. feel like May was just really stressful in a lot of ways for a lot of the reasons. And yes. my job was super stressful in May. I was stressed every single day. And so I feel like just doing something else on top of it was just really hard at yeah. the time. But now we have more time and we're getting back into it. Well, we it. would like get together to record and I would look at Nina and like, we're not recording today. We're going to watch like a movie or something. Like I like knew. Yeah. So, but anyways. anyways. <laughs> Wow, same person. Said at the same time. All right, well, we will see you next week. Yeah, we will. With something fun. All right, bye. Peace and blessings. Bye.